Hey everyone, it is Velvet. Welcome back to Mori. Mori. In the last one, we defeated Sweetheart, and her and Captain Space Boy, now Space Husband, got back together. Um, and I feel like, yeah, I would love to jump. White Egret Orchid. In the language of flowers, it symbolizes the phrase, My thoughts will follow you into your dreams. You find a book of interest. Read an excerpt. One by one, they fell asleep on the car ride home. It was a long day at the beach, after all, and everyone was exhausted. Blank was the first to nod off, then the rest. As the sun set over the freeway, Blank's head accidentally drops onto Blank's shoulders. The sudden jolt wakes him, but he doesn't dare open his eyes. He pretends to be asleep and steadies his breathing. He listens to the sounds of the road. He feels the soft sun resting on his skin, and the slight tinge of pain on his nose from tomorrow's sunburn. He is happy, very, very happy, and he makes a vow to himself that no matter what, he will remember this moment forever. of books, forgotten through time. The keepers of this library have long since passed. This is clearly about Sonny, but exactly what? I don't know yet. A puddle of juice sinks into the carpet. Hovering above it is none other than Blank, holding an open juice box, probably Kel. He looks around at his friends, who are all wearing the same face of disappointment. He lets out a guilty chuckle. In what seems like less than a second, Blank disappears out of the front door. A tiny black kitten makes her way through the stain, leaving sloppy wet tracks all over the carpet. Blank's face turns red and yells for Blank, but Blank is already gone, probably Hero. Blank hands Blank some wet paper towels. Probably Mari and Hero. It looks like they're the only adults here, and if they don't clean this up soon, the carpet is going to stain. They'll have to deal with Blank later. I imagine that the the one character name was probably Sonny to account for the fact that you can name him yourself. You find a book of interest. It was a hot summer day, and all Blank could think about was why they couldn't do this tomorrow. The backyard was a mess. Planks of wood were strewn ab about the area. Paint stains... Uh, paint stains blotched the grass thanks to Basil and Aubrey's work? Probably? Aubrey... Yeah, because Aubrey is six letters, Basil is five. <laughs> 
All day, Blank watched Blank lug planks of wood back and forth from his dad's pickup truck. He watched Blank hammer his fingers over and over, and made note that over an hour had passed since Blank has climbed down her ladder. I will just be their moral support, Blank thought, as he sat sleepily in the shade of his favorite tree. Of course, he knew this wouldn't be the case. Soon his friends will be asking for his help, and he won't be able to refuse. The treehouse is for everyone, so it's only fair that everyone puts some work into it. Blank knows this and agrees, but reluctantly. He slides up and wobbles his way to the mess. He knows he should put in his fair share. It just had to be on the hottest day of the summer. Who <laughs> I sympathize with that. I, The heat kicks the shit out of me. Mari... You find a book of interest. Let's see. This year, Blank was lucky enough to get assigned to a desk next to the small window. Every day during class, Blank would gaze listlessly through the opening, at the shadows of the trees, the clouds creeping overhead. His mind drifted elsewhere, into his own worlds, his own stories, his own adventures. He had a habit of doing this. It was easy for him to get lost, Today was the same as any other. Blank stared vacantly out of the small window as the clouds passed by one by one. Suddenly, a hand playfully slaps his back, snapping him out of the reverie. Blank looks away from the opening. Blank smiles. He motions that class is over and that it's finally time for lunch. It's pizza day today, and they need to bolt to the cafeteria before it's all gone. Blank's stomach uh, growls. He looks at the small window one last time. He would have to continue his, continue his adventure another day. It's sunset. A strange statue watch over, watches over the hidden lake. It might have meant something significant in the past, but time has made its engravings illegible. Either way, it doesn't matter to the company visiting it today. They're only here to use it as a diving board. The brothers take turns jumping off the statue. Blank jumps first, then blank. Then blank again, then blank again. The brothers gleefully urge blank to join them. And after some careful thought, Blank warily agrees. Blank shuffles up to the statue and looks down at the moving water. He can hear his heartbeat. His ears begin to ring. His legs feel as if they would give out at any time. He tries to focus on his breathing. He feels something crawling on his shoulder, and his eyes fly open to meet with those of a black spider. In an instant, Blank loses all sense and hurls himself into the lake. Water fills his nose. He exerts his limbs, but the water is stronger. He's too weak. Too helpless. Or, that is what he believes. Blank shuts his eyes, and waits for the brothers to save him. Oh, Sonny. Yeah, that absolutely sounds terrifying. Everyone is over again today. The special occasion is Saturday morning. From 7 a.m. to 11 a.m., a group of six friends eat a delicious homemade breakfast and watch TV together. It's the most enjoyable part of every week. Blank looks at the clock. 8 a.m. Two hours left. He would be able to watch with everyone else until 10 a.m. when his tutor arrives. Blank grimaces. What he thought would be a rewarding hobby has been nothing more than a nuisance. Instead of watching the shows with the friend, the rest of his friends, he'll be the only one to miss out. If only he could watch the last hour with everyone else. If only he didn't have to play the violin. 
something opened. That's probably all there is to find, but nope, there's, we gotta take this L first. Yeah, it, it always sucks when, hello? Part of the shell has been cleared out. There's a hole here. Yeah, let's look inside the hole. Did I make a mistake? Should I have done this second? Oh, Basil. Don't forget, it's in the toy box. I'm gonna reload. Because I wanna see what's behind the door that opened. Okay. What's back here? Basil and the piano? A grand piano. The word Amori is etched across the center. Ah oh, yeah, some delicious fruits. Yeah, sure, I'll eat some. The wall feels hollow here. Can I do anything with that, though? Like, if we had Aubrey, we could probably smash through it, but... We're on our own, right? So I think... I think we're done here for now. Alright. Let's go back to the white space. God, there's gotta be something... There's gotta be something bad in that photo album, right? Because, like, that's what set off this entire thing, is looking through the photo album. And it must have, like, I imagine it must have unlocked a very traumatic memory that probably Basil's involved in. And that's what set everything off. Well, that's, that just says welcome to black space then, huh? Mm -hmm. So we're looking for... We're looking for the W. We're looking for um, the O. Looking for the M. Looking for the T. S and the P. All right. It's time to wake up. T 
few days left. Damn, Kel, you're here early. Got any messages left for us? You have a new message. Hey, Sonny, it's Mommy. Are you doing okay? You haven't been answering my calls or responding to my voicemails. You keep If you keep ignoring me, I'll start to get worried again. You should be worried. You should be home. You're leaving your traumatized child to fend for himself. I hope you're pacing your chores. I don't think even I could finish everything in one day. Did you end up visiting Kel? We, we did, yes. Uh, if not, it's alright. I understand. Just take things at your own pace. By the way, can you check the closet downstairs and see if there's anything you want to keep? We'll probably just throw away whatever you don't want anymore. There's only two days left before I come pick you up. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. Bzz. Kel, you're gonna have to wait. <laughs> I have some gambling to do. Hundred dollars. Hit me. Yo! Uh, hit. Thirteen, eighteen, we stay here. No, we, we, we stay here. Nothing I could have done there. I mean, we have to stay on that. Like, we don't have a choice. Yeah. We'll hit. That busts us, I think. Hit me. That is 18, so we stay on that. What is that hand? All right, uh, I didn't. I didn't mean to hit new game. I imagine, since we're doing this route, we do do the chores the last day, but it's after, like, reconciling with all our friends, and the, the, the entire, everybody's like, hey, let's all do the chores together, and then Kel does something stupid. The closet downstairs, she said. This? He says no. There's nothing we want to keep? All right, Kel. K Kel, calm down. Hello. Hello. Sonny, are you there? Hey, Sonny. Okay, good. <laughs> you let that boy in. Hi, Sonny. Top of the morning to you. <laughs> well, more like noon, actually. It turns out Hero's not coming back around until dinner today, so I thought I'd drop by a little later. Mom is having me buy some stuff at Faraway Plaza before he comes back, and thought it might be funner if we went together. Do you want to come along, Sonny? Of course you do. Come on. Let's go. Of course, uh, Cal. Let's let's go. The orange cat looks hungry. I would love to feed it some fish, but we don't have any fish, uh, so we'll have to buy some fish. 
Goddamn shoes. Cal smells. What the heck? What happened here? Dang it. Must have been Aubrey and the Scooter Gang. Sonny, be honest. Do I smell? I and mean, you're a sports guy, aren't you? I imagine you smell a little bit. But, like, whatever, man. As long as you wear deodorant, who cares? <laughs> That's not true. Uh, hygiene is important. But, like... I just mean that, like... <laughs> like, as long as you're, like, not... Uh, letting your sweat go free to the world, then it's, like, it's understandable, man. You're sporty. You're going to smell a little bit. Wait, hold up, Sonny. I know it's been a while since you've been... It's... Okay. Fine. Whose house was this? Knock, knock, knock. There's no response. Okay. Guess I'll die. We're just gonna explore for now. See if anything has changed. If there's any new people we can talk to. This is Aubrey's house, I believe. She's out. Aubrey's trash can. <laughs> yep. One of these bitches will respond. Someone will respond, I'm sure. Damn it. Chorch. Hey, priest, what's going on? I've been getting a strange feeling from the cemetery here all day today. Yeah? Strange how? Something in the air seems amiss lately. The spirits, they are howling. Sounds like they're preparing a welcoming party. Someone close by may be joining them soon. <laughs> What's with that look? You think I'm crazy or something? Don't be so quick to judge. You'd believe too if you've seen what I've seen. That's just... An unsettling omen. In a game with kids with such vast mental health issues. Um, and just generally speaking, that makes me worried about Basil and Aubrey specifically, because they are going through it. Uh, terrifying. Thank you. Never say that to me again. Never imply that my friends are going to die again. <laughs> Kel, you have money, right? You're not gonna make me fork over for you again? Basil hasn't been taking care of his flowers lately. Hope he feels better soon. His flowers need- Yeah, that just makes me incredibly worried about Basil. Because if Basil's not taking care of his flowers, something's wrong. God damn, why is nobody responding to me today? Ah! My dog Lucas ran out of the door again. He always trying to get me out of the house. Sometimes I wonder if he only lives here for the food. No, where'd you go this time? Uh, I mean... If you didn't feed him, he wouldn't live there, for sure. But yeah, dog, dogs getting out is... It's scary. Hope... Hope your, your puppy is okay and not getting into any trouble.
Let me in. I have to rate your beds. Man. Oh. Bunch of mail addressed to Ma. I remember you. How you doing? Well, hello again. I must thank you again for helping me to get my medicine yesterday. You know, you kids remind me of two of my sons when they were young. Those two were quite different from each other, but got along very well. People would always say they balanced each other out. I may not look it, but I'm turning 64 this year. I've had seven kids in my lifetime, but everyone's moved out except my eldest son and my youngest daughter. My eldest son never leaves his room, though, so he probably won't ever leave. How old is your eldest son? Because if you had seven kids, and then all the other ones have left the nest... I mean, housing crisis and all, for sure. Uh... <laughs> Clean your room, man. Bring down the dishes! You're gonna cause an infestation! Why, yes, that peripheral you pondered over there is my duly betrothed. I'd appreciate it if you kept your octopical appendages in their sheets. She assimilates my confab better than anyone and anything else. She's such a sweetheart and we love each other. Now leave us alone. If you are bolstering why I'm so much more pandemic than you are, it's solely due to my philosophy major. My tenure has led me to my most elephantine discovery of all. Everyone is a hundred, no, maybe a thousand years too early in time to comprehend my genius. Pity me no more with your occupancy. You can't perceive anything I interject into your cere cerebrum anyway. I think Omocat is uh, venting about someone she knows here. <laughs> Just a guess. Come on, man. At least clean your room. I, like... I get it. The job market and the housing market are in fucking shambles right now. But you, you gotta clean your room. At least of the dishes and, like, anything that, like, stinks. Because, like... With the dishes, you're just causing inconve an inconvenience of your whole house. That's like my my philosophy, right? Um, you can do whatever you want in your own space. If your own space is messy, that's fine. Throw out stuff that needs to be thrown out so things don't rot in your room and cause like an infestation or something. Because that's affecting a shared space. Ultimately. And bring down the dishes. People need the dishes. Nothing more frustrating than having to trade two dishes between several people in a household because one person is hoarding them all. Awful. Bring down your dishes. You're con inconveniencing yourself and everyone you live with. Yo, more trash. This town has a massive littering problem, I see. Well, I'll clean up after it. I need the money. The hell are you? Recycultist. Fair enough. Just maybe not do it so cult-like. These new recyclists folk have been showing up making real big changes around here. This is the first time I've seen so many people taking the initiative to pick up trash. Makes my job a whole lot easier. Something about them feels a little fishy, though. Oh, the, uh... That was definitely a Kel and Hero, uh, vision. Since this man is indescribable. I don't have money. Yeah, I'll, do I'll donate the one dollar I don't have. Uh, 
That's been kind of stressful lately, but people watching on here puts, helps me put things into perspective. I make it a habit to come to this park more often. Guess sometimes all it takes is to relax and stop and smell the roses. I'll, I'll talk to the old lady for the trash money after I make sure I have all the trash. Hi, Basil. Oh, you're the actual Basil. Hey, Kel. Hey, Sonny. What's up, Basil? Nice to see you out and about. Are you feeling better after yesterday? Huh? Yesterday? What do you mean? You had a big stomach ache, didn't you? That's why you had to go to the bathroom. Ah, uh, oh right. Yes, I feel much better now. Did you want to hang out with us today? Sonny's not going to be around for much longer, you know. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow. Sorry. Oh, don't worry. You don't have to force yourself. We can always catch up later. Yeah, you're right. Okay, then. See you later, then, I guess. Basil, my sweet little boy. I'm so worried about you. What is happening? Hey, neighbor, how's it going? Hey, Kel. Oh, and who else is with you? Oh, wait, I recognize you. It's Sunny, isn't it? Sorry, it's been a while. He's a shbooty, that's not. I think we only met a few times. My family has always lived here, but I was sent off to boarding school for a few years and just came back about three years ago, I think? Hey, Sunny. Chris is my next door neighbor, and she's really cool. She's the fastest swimmer in school. Yo, that's awesome. When she's in the water, people compare her to a mermaid, or a shark, or even a torpedo. Oh, Kel, you're never short on compliments. <laughs> Aren't you trying out for the junior varsity basketball team this year? I'm sure you'll be a shoo <laughs> Are they flirting? Well, I'll try. Been playing every now and then with strangers at the park. I think I'm getting better, but it's a little hard to tell. <laughs> But if I practice basketball as much as you practice swimming, I'd probably have a better chance. Oh, I'm not that hardworking. It feels like fun to me, honestly. And besides, even though I love swimming in pools, I love swimming in the ocean even more. Completely different vibe, for sure. I love everything about the ocean. The beach, the sound of the waves, even the smell of seaweed. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I must sound a little obsessed. You really are a mermaid. That's totally fine. It's good to be about good to be passionate about something, isn't it? <laughs> I guess. Actually, I think this all started because I went to boarding school on an island and really enjoyed my time there. The ocean reminds me of the friends I made there. I hope maybe I can see them again one day. But for the time being, I guess I'll just be collecting seashells and stuff. You know, that story kind of reminded me of this, but Sonny's actually moving away from here really soon. Maybe you can give him some tips on how to handle moving away to a new place. Oh, Sonny is moving? Um, well, being away from my friends was pretty tough at first, but change is just a fact of life. It's the memories we make with them that we should cherish. You know what? I just decided something. If you see any seashells, can you bring them to me? They're kind of hard to find around here, but I'll make sure it's worth it. Sure. Do I have any? I do. Such a cute one. Thank you. Fiddling with something in her hands. Hey, no peeking. Okay. Morger. That's a sigma. <laughs> It's gonna be all be worth it. The patties are burning! Okay, so I need to find multiple seashells then. Ah, yuck, yuck. I don't have anything. I'm sorry. 
I'm also broke. Hi, apple guy. I, I like apple juice. If I had apple juice, I would definitely drink apple juice, but I don't... I don't currently have apple juice. Don't drink that stuff. He threw away my orange juice? No! All juice is good juice. What the hell? I'm not spending it on that guy's apple juice. <laughs> I'm so... <laughs> I'm so mad. Uh, anyway, I think we'll continue on this and go to the store with Cal in the next one. Thank you so very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, consider subscribing and leaving a like and all that. But until then, have a fantastic day, alright?